Good evening and welcome to another edition of Recommendations from the Couch. This week I thought I'd take a look at some of the things we've all been binge watching on Netflix or Showtime or HBO or any of the other channels as we've been home during these months and watched a little more television than usual. It kind of came about from a conversation that I'll catch you up on in a second. But I'm going to start with Game of Thrones. So for those of you that have seen Game of Thrones and are a fan, of course it was a book first. George R. R. Martin wrote to Game of Thrones, which is, um, let me double check, a series of five books, which for those of you who think, well, that's not bad, keep in mind, um, Game of Thrones doesn't have a book shorter than 850 pages. So uh, if you like that time of the, of the world, uh, there's lots of people who say the book is better than the television, and others say the television is better than the book. At the end, we're going to decide. Now, this is the one that brought it up, uh, this idea of this week. Tess Gerritsen writes this series with Rizzoli and Isles. And if you watch Rizzoli and Isles on television and didn't know it was a book first, Tess Gerritsen has been writing this series for a long time. It's got um, currently 12 books and it's still a series that's ongoing, so new ones come out occasionally. Um, Rizzoli and Isles in the book um, solve mysteries a little bit different than the ones on television. I have a patron that swears the book characters are, are much richer than the ones on TV, but if you've seen the ones on TV and didn't know it was a book, you might like them too. So we'll see how you think in the end. Now another one that's been getting great acclaim on Netflix is The Queen's Gambit. The Queen's Gambit is written by Walter Tevis. Um, this one is a nice short book, not very long at all, so how they managed to make it quite as long as they did has to do a lot with what goes on in the minds of these chess players. So if you like, again, this time of year, this takes place um, in, in the early 1900s. You've got some serious women chess players and some other things. Uh, it's, they've really drawn out the story on television. But The Queen's Gambit. And last but not least, the one that we've all been going on and on about is Bridgerton. And however you feel about Julia Quinn, she has been brought back to life. Bridgerton actually is a series of... I mean, think get it right, Bridget has nine books in the series and four prequels. Um, because this series is so old, they're suddenly really hard to get a hold of. This is book one and it will be available in the library next week. We do have this available on Sunflower eLibrary. I have three copies of book ones on Sunflower eLibrary specifically for library card holders of the Omega Public Library. So no one else on Sunflower can read them but us. And on there I've got the entire series of nine. In the library, we just have book one because I can't get the rest of them, except for book nine. So two through eight are unavailable and I'm working on getting copies. So if you've not seen Bridgerton, but like to read it first, book one is available. A good classic love story takes place um, in Regency London. Of course on TV, the costumes are, are beautiful, but another one that was truly a book first because they were so old that we can't even get them because they're out of publication. So now I want you to comment for me tonight and tell me what you've been binge watching on that you knew was a book first or you didn't know was a book first and which you prefer, Bridgerton the book or Bridgerton and Netflix? Queen's Gambit, nice short one, or Queen's Gambit on Netflix? And did you know Rizzoli and Isles was a book series first and have you read a Tess Garrison? And again, what's your favorite character on this one because I think I'll have some split votes. And last but not least, have you plowed through George R.R. R. Martin's Game of Thrones? 850 pages times five books, or do you like the TV show better? So let me know. It's kind of fun to see what people think one way or the other. I can tell you I'm usually a fan of the book, regardless, but I'll see what you think. And until next week, enjoy the sunshine. The library is open regular hours, and we're gearing up for summer reading, so stay tuned in the next few weeks for some upcoming exciting news.